What's old is always new in the field of archaeology, and there's nothing older or newer than a brand new find. Fortunately, we're never in short supply of those, even with the difficulties of 2020. Archaeologists all over the world have continued to impress us with their recent discoveries. Here are some of the best of them for you to enjoy. Let's start off by doing a little travel in time and space. We're going to Scotland, 5,000 years ago. That's when someone made these animal carvings inside the Dunge Craig Egg Cairn in Kilmartin Glen. They're understandably worn and weathered, but it's still possible to make out a few details, including a deer head and antlers. The artist who made these carvings was alive during the Neolithic era. Red deer are thought to have been the largest of their species in the Scotland of the time, so the artist was likely inspired by the things they could see around them. The animals weren't just for looking at during this time, though. Deer were a prime source of meat, and their hides were used as clothing. Not even the bones or antlers were wasted because they were used to make tools. It's even possible that deer bone tools were used to make these carvings, which appear on what's thought to be the capstone of a burial cyst. Prehistoric animal carvings from this era exist elsewhere in Europe, but this is the first time they've been found in Scotland. The discovery was made in May 2021. The ice of the Lenbreen Pass in Norway's Bremen National Park has been melting since 2006. As it recedes, it reveals objects that have been trapped in the ice for hundreds of years. One of them is this box, which was found in May 2021. The artifact was so well preserved that when it was found, its lid was still closed and the leather carrying handles were still attached. Based on carbon dating of the pine wood, the box was made somewhere around 1475. Archaeologists initially suspected that they'd found a tinderbox, but when they opened it, they were surprised to discover a beeswax candle. Candles like this were expensive and most commonly used in Norwegian seasonal farms. During summer, livestock would be taken away from home to a summer farm for grazing. Accommodation at these summer farms was spartan at best, so candles like this would have been the only source of light inside them at night. That made them precious, so it's very unlikely that the box was left behind on the pass deliberately. It's more likely that it fell from a pack horse during its journey, which would have been disappointing when its owner noticed it missing after unpacking their horse. Workers from Malta's Water Services Corporation made a surprising discovery in May 2021 as they worked on a site close to Zabar. In the performance of their duties, they came across a sealed Punic era tomb, undisturbed for around 2,000 years. They called in archaeologists to open the tomb, revealing it to contain a large number of funerary urns. The remains of the people inside them have been cremated, but only partially. It was still possible for the experts to identify the remains of an adult and a young child, possibly father and son. Archaeologists also recovered amphorae, an oil lamp, and a glass perfume bottle. All of the discovered artifacts have since been taken to a nearby laboratory where they'll be cleaned, consolidated, and then subjected to further analysis and tests. Malta's Water Services Corporation is trying to extend the drainage network in the south of the country and has much more work to do in the region. So it's possible that there will be more to report from this site in the near future. If there is, you'll hear about it on this channel. The Italian island of Sicily is only small, but it's densely populated and full of history. There are important archaeological sites all over the island, but it's the Segesta Archaeological Park in Trapani that's given us this most recent incredible discovery. It's the remains of a monumental building close to a portico. In ancient times, there was an agora here, and in that agora was a statue. The base of that statue has been found at the site and still bears an inscription that both names and identifies the charitable works of an individual who's credited with financing the creation of the enormous building. Just as someone might get a building named after them if they support its creation now, the same thing happened in Sicily 2,200 years ago. 
In this instance, it was a man named Diodorus, who was the son of Titulos. He also financed the creation of a statue of his sister, the high priestess of Aphrodite Urania, in a nearby Doric temple. It's clear that Diodorus and his relatives were one of the great families of ancient Sicily, perhaps responsible for the bulk of the public buildings that once stood here. Finding large-scale ancient buildings has become something of an archaeological trend lately. In May 2021, archaeologists in Turkey reported the discovery of this Byzantine-era church. It had somehow remained hidden from view for centuries, despite the fact that it's in the Sultanahmet district of Istanbul, one of modern Turkey's greatest cities and also the former capital of the Byzantine Empire. The church is directly beneath an empty building that most recently belonged to a tourist agency. Exploration of the site is ongoing, but thus far, archaeologists have been able to unearth a stunning mosaic floor and what might have been a secret underground chamber. It's thought that the church was built during the 5th century and may even have been connected to the Great Palace of Constantinople. It must have stayed in use for several centuries because it seems that a vaulted chamber was added during either the 11th or 12th century. One of the walls is a fresco depicting the Virgin Mary holding the infant Christ aloft. The act of building directly on top of the church might have been a deliberate case of concealment or destruction, but the reasons anyone would do such a thing are unknown. The beginning of June 2021 saw the discovery of a new pyramid, but the discovery didn't happen in Egypt. Instead, it happened in Mexico. The distinctive shaped building was found in Tlacacalco, which was an important political center before the arrival of the Spanish. Many important buildings in the area were destroyed and then built atop by the Spanish conquistadors, which is precisely what happened here. In fact, the pyramid was found underneath a modern home. The archaeologists at the scene report that only one-third of the pyramid still exists. The rest has sadly been lost forever. Back when it was whole, it would have been 130 feet wide and 50 feet tall. Despite its appearance, this pyramid is nothing near as ancient as those found in Egypt. Early indications are that it was built in three phases beginning around 1350 and ending somewhere close to 1465. Rather than being a tomb, it appears to have been a housing structure for the social elite, perhaps a palace. Strangely though, the quality of the construction in the second and third phases is inferior to that demonstrated by the first phase. Maybe the importance of the building declined over time. Here's another discovery that sounds like it should have happened in Egypt, but didn't. It's a sphinx, and it was found in Pakistan in April 2021. Amazingly, this long-lost work of sculpture is 12,500 years old. You'll find it in Lisbella, where it's been nicknamed the Lion of Balochistan. While it resembles the more famous sphinx in Giza, the Egyptian sphinx is only 4,500 years old. The Egyptians were an incredibly advanced ancient civilization but they must have got at least a few of their ideas from somewhere else. Could this monument in Pakistan have inspired one of their most famous creations? While the sculpture has always been clearly visible to anyone who passes it, it's only recently that historians and scientists have changed their minds about its origins. They used to think it was a natural rock formation. Looking at these pictures, it's difficult to imagine how. Not only is the sphinx shape obvious, but it sits atop the remains of a temple platform complete with the remains of pillars and niches. We're not sure what kind of mass delusion persuaded people that this isn't an ancient sculpture, but we're glad they snapped out of it. Rome is the capital of Italy. It's both ancient and modern at the same time. Perhaps nothing demonstrates that better than this next discovery. It's an ancient Roman villa that turned up underneath a cutting-edge 21st-century apartment complex in October 2020. The modern property is only six years old, so there's currently some controversy and confusion about whether its builders noticed the villa during the construction process and failed to report it. In any event, it's been discovered now, and it'll soon be open to the public as a museum. 
Despite being damaged by the construction process, the villa has stunning mosaic floors and beautiful frescoes. Fragments of Latin inscriptions are still visible on some of the walls, with enough legible information for archaeologists to confirm that the villa is 2,200 years old. Additional mosaics were added up until the end of the second century, so the property remained in use for a long time. The reason for its eventual abandonment is uncertain, but it appears to have been an upper-class home for the entire period of its occupation. That makes it a little odd that it was eventually left standing empty, but sadly, that's a riddle we'll probably never be able to solve. Gethsemane is well known to all Christians as the place where Judas betrayed Jesus. In January 2021, it became famous among archaeologists for another reason after the discovery of an ancient ritual bath church in the area. The bath is roughly 2,000 years old, so it's possible that it was around during Christ's reported lifetime. It will become the only known archaeological discovery in Gethsemane that dates back to the time of Christ. It might not stay that way for long, though. Historians believe that the presence of the bath makes it likely that there was once also an oil or wine production facility in the area, and they're currently looking for it. Any worker involved in the production of either wine or oil would be required by religious law to purify themselves after their working day was over, and a ritual bath like this one was the place to do it. The timing of this discovery couldn't have been any more fortuitous for the local tourism industry. A new visitor center was already planned for this part of Gethsemane, and now this ritual bath will become the centerpiece of it. When our ancient ancestors lived in caves, they didn't have a written language. Instead, they painted pictures on walls. Through those pictures, we can get to know them and also come to understand what they knew of the world around them. Thanks to a cave art discovery that happened in Norway in April 2021, we now think it's possible that the people who lived there 10,000 years ago were capable of building boats. Not every expert who sees this carving, which is in a cave on the Ifjorden Fjord in Norway's Nordland County, agrees with the assessment that it depicts a boat, but it's hard to imagine what else it could be. To those who believe it's an image of a boat, they think it's a life-size image of a kind of sealskin boat. Making such a vessel would have been possible using the tools and techniques that were available to these Stone Age cave dwellers. If this is a picture of a boat, though, it's the oldest one ever found in Europe. There's also a smaller second drawing a little deeper in the cave, which might also be a boat, and was made at around the same time. The shoreline was closer to the cave 10,000 years ago than it is today. Might this cave have been where the boats were built? Our next find is one of the greatest attic discoveries we've ever heard of. In March 2019, a British couple began renovating and modernizing their family home in Berkshire, England. The home has been in their family for generations, and so, as it turns out, have the contents of the attic. As they worked in the space at the top of the property, they found a mysterious, dusty box tucked away in a corner. Upon opening it, they found the long-lost treasures of former Indian ruler Tipu Sultan, including his stunningly ornate personal gun and sword. The Sultan was defeated in battle by the armies of the Duke of Wellington in 1799, after which most of his valuable possessions were seized and taken back to Britain. One of the Duke's officers responsible for their transportation was Major Thomas Hart, an ancestor of the couple that owns the home today. The Major was probably supposed to hand the items over to the King or the government, but decided to keep them for himself. Their existence was a secret even to the Major's own family, but they proved to be a rich prize for his descendants. They decided to cash in on their find by selling the artifacts to a museum and made $6 million by doing so. The Nazca Desert of Peru is already famous for the existence of the Nazca Lines, ancient etchings made on the desert floor by unknown hands thousands of years ago. Now it appears that the lines aren't the only form of desert artwork in Nazca. Using drone technology to photograph the desert from new angles, Archaeologists have identified a further 50 shapes and drawings spread across the Palpa province. 
These new drawings, some of which have been described as humanoid, monster-like figures, are more weathered than the Nazca lines to the extent that they're almost invisible to the naked eye in some cases. Were it not for advances in technology, we wouldn't be able to see them at all. Because of the degree of weathering, archaeologists don't think they were created by the Nazca culture. Instead, they think it's more likely that the shapes were carved by the Tapara or Paracas cultures who lived here 2,500 years ago. Very little is known about the Tapara people and how, if at all, they're connected to the Paracas and the Nazca. Perhaps these newly discovered glyphs will provide us with more information. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.